Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 14, and this is war number 11, and we're going up against an alliance called Devastation. All right, and I've scouted out my path, and in section two, I noticed that they placed a Havoc. So it's time for my Guillotine 2099 to shine. Uh, she is a great counter to that Havoc. All right, so I'm the first one in for my side. So that means uh, I'm gonna be able to get to fight the first node because they did place someone here. Uh, a lot of times alliances won't place anyone on that first node. Uh, so I will get at least a chance to fight uh, this first guy. Before I run out of energy, I won't be able to fight the second one. All right, so of course, if you've been watching my war videos, you know that I'm bringing in Gladiator Hulk for path one. He is undisputed, at least by me, the best option for this path. And as you can see, his face me uh, is active and he is just wrecking. Now I have to be careful, back off a little bit. There we go, bait out that special two. We don't want any mistakes happening, but I've actually had this happen. I've actually taken a special three that didn't kill me and healed almost back up to full. But I wasn't gonna try that at this time. All right, so there we go. Down goes that Rhino, not too difficult to deal with. And of course, I run out of energy and then we will come back and get that second fight, which is a little wasp. All right, so here we go. We're back and wasp, she's not that difficult to fight, but she can wreck you. If you're not careful, a very easy way to get wrecked by wasp. She'll combo you, go into that heavy, and the next thing you know, you're napping. All right, so I also have to be careful uh, because of the uh, dodge defense tactic so she's gonna evade even more okay but I baited out her uh, heavies if I can and I'm gonna try to bait out that special one there we go and you can see that the cooldown is pretty quick but while that cooldown is active you'll notice that she's still evaded that's because of the defense tactic all right so she's extra annoying but guess what Hulk don't care Look at his health. Hulk don't care at all. All right. Uh, I just went in and was aggressive and relied on his face me uh, healing up most of his damage. All right. So this first one, I don't take. I came back. It's cleared. So we're on to section two. Uh, I don't take that first one unless AQ is down and I bring in someone that is capable of doing it, uh, like my Havoc. But my team usually cannot take that note I've tried and I'll just be wasting my champions. Okay, so now we're facing this Havoc. And Guillotine 2099, as I mentioned before, is a great option for fighting havoc and the reason is that she gets a permanent armor up buff so if you don't know about havoc uh, there are a couple of ways to counter him either you need an armor up buff that way you are immune to any of the plasma shenanigans that he uh, might care to throw at you and also, Power Drain will cause him to lose all of his Plasma Charges. Or you can go in with his brother, uh, Cyclops. Uh, he is immune to his specials. So you've got a few ways to deal with uh, Havoc. And because she gets that permanent, even if that Armor Up buff is removed, it actually comes back. So she is great you'll notice that she's not having to deal with any of that and I, ha I had to bait out that special too didn't want to have any kind of issues and now 
with guillotine 2099 i want to finish the fight with a special three now he's at five percent health so even if the damage wasn't enough to take him out at five percent health it's insta kill now that doesn't mean much against opponents like this but say you were facing a more beefier opponent five percent health may still be a large chunk of health 100 200 300 000. but because of her special ability it'll still be an insta kill very very nice all right so since i um finished the fight with a special three i'm gonna start this fight at a 100 hit combo and you'll notice i went with a different pre-fight ability and that's because i actually will start with 100 uh, hits on my combo meter so I can actually make uh, use of that All right, so we're going in against the updated Colossus and you'll notice that I hit him with two heavies That is so that I get the combo uh, Shield She has that combo shield. Uh, I have a video on her on my channel if you want to take a look at her uh, and I go into a little bit more detail, but uh, that will protect her from at least a couple of hits. But you still don't want to rely on that. Uh, I learned that the hard way. All right, we baited out his special. And at this point, I don't want to fire off the special two. I want to do another special three because he's almost gone. All right, and I could do it at any point, but he's again at 5%. That wasn't by design. Uh, I just wanted to finish the combo right quick and then fire it off But I could have fired the special three off earlier and it would have finished him All right, but now that means she's nice and charged up. So if I need her later She's ready to go with a hundred hit combo All right, so as you can see that boss there was not cleared yet uh, so I just went in just to make sure, you know, I was right there. And then when I came back, she was down and a nibbling on doom had taken place. And I was asked to please take down that doom. So doom seems to be the new defense champion. Uh, we've gone up against alliances that place doom as the boss, as both the mini bosses to the left and the right of the boss and they had a couple of dooms in other places no doubt he is a very difficult defender but i found that starkey does fairly well against him uh, and i have fought doom uh, as a champion on the champion node and pretty much wrecked him uh, i didn't get a one shot but he knew he was in a fight. All right. Um, I think I took down probably uh, a little more than half of his health. So you build up these poise charges. And now I'm ready to go in. Yeah, he was trying to slap. I wasn't trying to hear that. All right. So we're just going in. And just look at the damage. Don't sleep on my Starkey. And then there we go. You'll notice that you see the decks. I don't rely on his uh evade now that time the evade saved me uh, i was a little bit too slow i think and it would have clipped me at the end but the evade saved me uh but i always try to evade that get the timing and i have it pretty well down but i need to fight him a little bit more so we were able to finish him off now you're going to see me here looking over the lay of the land and i'm like okay which way I want to fight that green goblin with my Starkey. He's great for him, but there's a Mysterio in the way. And I'm looking at the Mysterio and I'm thinking, do I want to deal with that uh, with Starkey? And then I'm like, mm, no, let me just wait and see what they need. Uh, going up, I don't really want to deal with that uh, Nick Fury. But guess what the word came through and said, please go up and fight that nick fury and i don't like fighting nick fury all right don't like fighting him at 
all. Very annoying. Hate his special one, especially when he goes unblockable. Um, I need to learn how to fight him uh, a little bit better, that's for sure. All right, so uh, as you'll see here, I went ahead and boosted up again. Uh, that's why it's a little frustrating sometimes when uh, you're doing what you can to go in prepared and you have, you know, a few uh, other folks that are not. They're going into fights uh, with like 40% health and not boosting up, things like that. So a little frustrating. So I decided to try fighting him with guillotine 2099. I have never fought him with guillotine 2099. So this is going to be something new for me. But I'm thinking, honestly, not for a one shot, but hopefully just to get him down. You'll see I'm a little nervous right there. Uh, I fired off my uh, heavy a little bit too slow. All right. And then I got caught. Uh, that's because of that limber. All right. And so I'm like, all right, well, let's just go. All right. I wasted my hundred hit combo, lost my combo. And so at this point, I'm just like, uh, I really would love a do over at this point because I just messed up. Uh, I should have just gone instead of trying to worry about the combo shield with the limber. Uh, I should have just gone in. So at this point, my game plan has uh, changed. Now my goal is to pretty much do as much damage as I can. Uh, if I can build up the combo, that would be great. But I just want to do a lot of damage. And see, at this point, I had to do that intercept and then fire off the special because I don't want him to fire off that special one while he's unblockable. All right. And even though the unblockable popped up, I was able to block it. So that was nice. But here he is unblockable again. And then boom, he's just tagging me. So I went ahead and did another uh, intercept pushed him to a special two and now i'm just trying to bait that special two out that's all i want to do there we go his special two is so much easier to um, evade and then i stopped right there because i didn't want to push him to a special one then again i went ahead fire up that special two pushed him to a special two again and now i got to bait that out so so far we're able to do quite a bit of damage despite the really bad start uh, to the fight. Uh, would have done a lot better. And if I have to fight him again with Guillotine 2099, I'll do better. All right, but this is the first time. I was a little nervous. All right, so I just got tagged there and I was so upset. Uh, I remember I got so tilted. Now you see she healed up a little bit. That's one of her abilities. Uh, but what happened there, I swiped back and it didn't register and I got so tilted and then see here I'm just like man I'm just trying to get him to that special two wasn't able to do it fired off that stupid special one very annoying I intercepted and I'm still trying to get him to the special two fired off the special one again and I'm just like this is ridiculous that's why I hate fighting him so annoying all right so down she went it could have gone better you see i had 100 hits if i had kept that 100 hit combo from the beginning he would have been wrecked much easier and that heal at the end would have given me just enough i think to finish him off all right so now what we want to do here is pretty much uh build up my poise charges and then we're going to go in and we're going to do our best to get a little revenge for uh, guillotine 2099's uh, butt whooping. So now we go in and he's furious, but he's not unblockable and he doesn't have a special one. So now what you want to do is just wait, wait, eat up that time. You can see his health going down just fine. That's the best thing to do. You know, maybe maintain the poise charges. And once he got down to 30, now you can try to get some intercepts in. 
All right, still trying to find my opening. I decided to take some blocked hits, bait out that heavy, and boom, got him down. Very annoying, but we got him down. All right, so that's the last fight that I participated in. And so now we're gonna find out how we did in this war. Uh, I didn't record it, but I did throw a few champs at that Venom. And as you can see, we lost this war again. I will be very happy when this season ends. Um, but thanks for watching. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.